meddling cartel forces with a top secret mission that, if it succeeded, could turn the tides of the war. Before the war, there were few nuclear weapon tests. Those tests were mainly done by the Avalon Corporation. had a strategy of profitable neutrality. They would do anything as long as it is profitable for them. Later on that week, the meddling cartel made a secret deal with the Avalon Corporation. The cartel purchased bombs from the corporation for a high price. And like that, they have the most powerful weapons on Earth. The cartel had a plan to deploy one of these weapons and completely destroy the Turnian forces in the battle. The meddling cartel forces waited for the best moment to execute their plan. Finally, they decided to attack. However, something unexpected happened for the cartel forces. Due to the lack of knowledge of such a complex weapon, they failed to detonate the bomb. The whole meddling cartel plan was now in ruin. Now Odilplin had to fight without their aid. With the cartel's forces staying neutral, the Turnians had a clear path to victory. The war was coming to the end. The Odeeplin citizens, the Odeeplarians, tried to grab the equipment of their fallen comrades to continue the fight but, without any success, resulting in them trying suicidal charges into the enemy. Cartel's forces came up with a new plan. They had in their inventories a few more bombs and so, decided to give them to Odilplin, in the middle of the battle, for a successful bomb deployment. Now the Odilplarians had a new power to save their independence. The question remained, will they use their new power to save Odipin?
flint and steel, to light up the bomb. detonated, but in a way that it didn't destroy the city while still inflicting massive damage to all living beings standing near it. Only the totems of undying saved the Turnian army from absolute annihilation. Anyway, the damage was done, but will it help to win the war? The fight continued on, just this time with less equipment. Fassi was the last standing rebel, but being a mercenary, his life was more important to him than the independence of Odiplin. So he didn't hesitate to fall back when in a difficult position and then come back to inflict as much damage as possible without dying. However, it was not an obstacle for the Turnian forces to achieve victory. With the Odeplin forces being almost but completely annihilated, with every second that passed meant that the war was coming to an end. Soon, an armistice was declared and peace negotiations took place. After the negotiations, the Turnian Empire achieved its goals. Odeplin didn't gain its independence and was forced to join back into the Turnian Empire. The war was over. The world had seen the might and commitment of this new, now united empire and the terrifying power that bestowed nuclear weapons. Peace returned once again on diplomatists. For now, 